In the land before time. In the prehistoric days. Oh, my child. Dinosaurs were my plate. They were one super, really, really big beast who ruled all of the land. But long before I could wrap pudgy pudding same finger. Around plastic toy miniature dinosaur figurines and play things. I was in kindergarten. I know sound off like our kingdoms during playtime. Inside the four corners of my sandcastle youth. Yo, my imagination ran loose outside the box of reality. When it came to nap time, I jumped on top of dinosaurs, once lived, and grew in eight other smaller, tastier looking dinosaurs. And while watching the boxy VHS of the land before time, I remember the Rivendell Council of Dinosaurs saying, The great plains on which we live can no longer support our Cry, we need to find the great map. So we sent exploratory teams to Mars and the moon, looking to cram each other into eco jars, stacking the odds upon the highest shelf to crumble once the weight of the world is placed on the wrong shoulders. We need to wake up and smell the petrol. The great battle we need to find is not a place, it's a state of mind. And if the land on which you stand can't survive your lifestyle, go change your address, change the way you live, because there's no promise of tomorrow. No perfect parcel of piecemeal property we can suddenly discover that will contain a convenient quick fix to all our environmental problems. Solutions are rarely convenient, but then again, neither are rescue missions. And we've developed the and we've developed the defended earth, defended earth, earth while becoming dependent on causing pain to her. We've, we've developed, developed the thirst for Earth's blood and ingredients that can be with extinction. So as we speak. Our generation and those beneath are still playing with dinosaur figurines. And it makes me think that if we are playing with the species that came before us, we should have learned from their fate. But instead, we mimic ancient animals and kill ourselves as they And once it was said that when humans cease to exist, the monkeys will step up and command primates to escape virility. They will control the free world. And as they rummage through the remains of the cities left deserted, they will stumble upon the bones of us. Find the diamonds connected through the ring fingers of wives struck by New York's touch. Look upon the faces of children embedded into stone, semi petrified Then they will mold sculptures based on their findings and call us monsters. Their offspring will play with toys that look like us. Just as we once did with dinosaurs. And I hope that amongst the ashes we built a castle of lies upon, they find this poem. They find these words untouched and legible so they can stop the cycle we started. Stop the saline to oxygen fossilized foliage and worship the days when valleys were still green. Oceans pristine. Treat Earth as a revenue of life and not a means to destroy it. Find the solution. We are not too late. We can still make a difference. The moment is so well affected. We do something now. This moment. I'm not telling you to dedicate your life to cleaning up after everyone in the world. I'm asking you. To start cleaning up after yourself. Because we are not saving Mother Earth for her. We are saving her for ourselves. We're going to be selfish, lap polluting, resource hoarding, inconsiderate assholes. Let's at least have some foresight. Whether we're here or not, the sun is going to shine. But we decide what's illuminated by action or inaction. We make a choice to see rainforest, fields of fruit, or fields of ash. This 